Hi Vani, how are you doing? I'm good, ma'am. How are you? I'm doing fine. Welcome again to IV. And uh, today we have Vani with us. Uh, she is. Uh, I'll let her introduce herself. But what we are going to talk about today, a little just about uh, our talk is going to be on LinkedIn. So Vani, as a person who is a fresher, and she had completed her studies and did some certification programs and was doing a lot of projects on the side. how she uh, you know utilized a platform like linkedin which is typically you know used by the professionals by the corporates by the recruiters and how she used linkedin to get her good internship projects and good jobs so vani if you could start a little bit with your basic introduction like your educational background on show sure, ma'am so basically i have done my graduation in accounting and finance i passed out last year only in october And since then, I've been studying, uh, you know, data science at IB Professional School itself. Uh, and uh, because you know this subject has been so amazing, and all the things about it have been so interesting and creative to me, I've started making my own projects and then you know posting them on LinkedIn from time to time. So that a short story about me. Yeah. Okay. So Vani, how did you you know think about okay, LinkedIn is a good platform where I should start posting my work. Like, what triggered that LinkedIn profile? Uh, so like anybody else i think i also had a profile which was very dormant <laughs> uh, before this but i actually you know signed up for this alpha ai fellowship by the end of september uh, so over there we had to post videos every week of the work which we were doing mm-hmm. and it was like for four to five weeks for me but after that you know i just i just got into this because it was very very interesting for me i always loved helping people or maybe you know uh, i wanted to reach people with the with my work or maybe help them in some way or the other mm-hmm. so for Things out there which I was doing was a really nice way, right? I used to get a lot of uh, comments or messages personally asking, "What am I doing? How am I doing this?" So that really, you know, motivated me to put out more stuff out there, and okay. that's how I began this uh, cycle of, you know, making something every week and posting it over there. Okay. Uh, so do you think like a fresher like a lot of people think okay when i get into the corporates when i start working that's the time i'll start using my linkedin profile it's mostly meant for professional networking but what are your views when it comes to freshers in using linkedin i think it's more important for us than compared to corporate people because uh, first of all i don't think after getting into a uh, job i will get time to handle my linkedin at all mm-hmm. right Besides week weekends, and that's not a time we want to go and uh, check out LinkedIn and make content for that. Mm-hmm. So, very good platform for freshers, which is like highly underrated right now. People just make their profile and leave it. Mm-hmm. Uh, creators are very less on LinkedIn. Uh, so, I mean, you know, you don't have to be uh, your posts don't have to be perfect or always a video or some of the work which we're doing. It can be also a thought process, right? Anything which right. one thing. Anything which you have learned, maybe you just saw some new thing which you want to put out there. Just do anything, right? You have to start building up a connection, right. because I freshers we want to connect with people, we want to learn more, because that's something which I think, right? Uh, you, like for example, you have been in the business for such a long time. There's, uh, I need to learn much more than you. Know. I need to learn a lot more than you right now, uh, right? right. Because I know very little. So connecting with a lot of people from your domain, from other domains, with with. it helps us a lot to learn at this point we are at a learning stage not doing mm-hmm. so personally i think it's more important for freshers than corporate people it's more important for freshers now you know when you were talking about the concept of connections you know again um, i also get a lot of uh, you know invites every day for the connecting on linkedin some people are just looking for jobs and as soon as i accept all they send is a resume and they are looking for a job which i personally feel is little bad way of networking so okay. um, if you could help our audience to understand that uh, like for example your profile is more into visualizations right that's what you are uh, you build your profile over so how do you pick who are you going to connect to and what kind of messages are you sending or what what are you expecting from your connections in linkedin yeah so basically first of all uh, i like i am into visualization as you said so you know the best way to connect with people you have a search bar over there in linkedin right 
just search for maybe i am using tableau currently i am using tableau i just simply write tableau and you have the option of you know choosing people or maybe groups or jobs mm -hmm. so right now i am trying to connect with people i'll simply choose people and in the profile i can see a lot of people and in the profile it's written tableau someone is learning tableau someone is looking for jobs in tableau mm -hmm. so again, you just read their profile if you think that you know okay this person is also learning maybe we can learn together this mm -hmm. person is somewhere maybe i can ask her for tips and uh, things which people accept in the uh, sorry require in the corporate world so right now being a fresher i need this kinds of th stuff so i look at the profile and then i send them the connection request the best part is to enter these keywords and hashtags which you okay. i want tableau i want excel i want visualization i put them in i get mm -hmm. those people and i send them a request and how easy or tough it is for the people to you know accept request specifically you know when you're trying to connect to people around the world right because in tableau community is huge people are all over the world are there a lot of people i've seen in your profile there are people from who are not from india Yeah. So how easy or how tough it is, and you know what? What kind of uh, like for example, let's say if you ask for help, how ready they are to help you out? Uh, so first of all, Tableau community is amazing. I mean, you reach out to anyone, and anyone would help you out. Okay, that's one right. thing. Uh, but uh, that's the worst thing. Like people send connection request, and as soon as someone accepts it, you send a message directly asking for help, or maybe sending resumes, like you said. Hmm. So that's not. Just start a conversation like you would start with a people person sitting in front of you. You say hi, you introduce yourself, you talk a bit about yourself, mm -hmm. and then you okay, you are into this. I want maybe you know I'm looking for this. Can you help me out? Right. right. Before without giving any kind of con uh, context about where you are coming from, you cannot uh -huh. get a person to leave everything and just right. come in. Right. And start working for you. <laughs> <laughs> best thing i do is like i uh, i personally ask them how do you are do, how they are doing mm -hmm. and i give a background about myself like what am i into and why do i want their help what am i working on why do mm -hmm. i want and then i ask if you could take out few minutes to help me out sure right do you think you should have a like a portfolio ahead of time so that you know when you're trying to connect even these guys take you a little more ser seriously otherwise you know if your own portfolio in linkedin is completely blank then it looks like you yeah, are you just another person who is trying trying to strike a conversation here i personally think it makes a lot of difference because when i started using linkedin even i had this you know okay i completed this certificate i completed this course mm -hmm. only there on my profile and uh, the connection request i sent that time are definitely still pending <laughs> right because those people like any other opened my profile they just see that you know i have learned this the software i studied mm -hmm. from And this two are the you know batches that I've owned or something, and that's about it. So even you know being at such a high position, they don't think in any way I they will they be you know be I would be of any help to them or anything. And already there is like a connection limit on LinkedIn. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't personally you know if I'm doing something good, I would like to connect with people who might actually benefit from my work. Mm -hmm. If I'm not putting any work in myself, why would someone else accept my profile? that's okay. something i think okay now now very very important question i have for you uh this is a question that comes to me very often that how do i build my profile like how do i which data set should i pick for example so how do you do that like uh, because you know there is no dearth of data these days there are so many websites and free you know data is there you can create your own problems into it so how did you like what do, what is your suggestion for the people who are a little lost in terms of how do i pick a project um so basically like my area of interest revolves around certain things so i try to look up those topics i see data sets from various sites like data world kaggle which i think most of the people are aware of mm -hmm. and then i see the data sets i mean sometimes i don't understand them so i don't waste my time a lot of time to understand them at all because mm -hmm. if there is no column description no data dictionary i don't go there right so i think again keywords help you a lot people don't really go on google and search things they go around asking other people is this uh, i mean do you know about this do you know about yeah. this <laughs> i agree so at least for the once you'll get a lot of things over there okay. right i have this few sites which i like data world is nice kaggle is nice so i enter my keywords i see data sets which pop up i look for them i mean uh, you know are they easy to understand i mean do they have the columns which i need for analysis if that's 
uh, like if all the criteria are meeting, I download them and work upon them. And again, for the people who are, you know, maybe for Tableau or any other software, if they are using, they want data. There is this Makeover Monday site, which you know, uh, you know, uh, which uh, uploads data sets every Monday mm-hmm. for people around the world. I mean, uh, it's from the Tableau community, but then you can use any software to visualize it or do anything with it. Data is out. And it has been happening since 2017. So I'm sure there's a lot of data over there if you want. A lot of data is there, correct. And you also got selected by Tableau as the whiz of today. Yes, yes. That must be a good feeling to have. (laughs) Very surprising and very good. (laughs) Very good feeling. Great. so, uh, you know, if you could also help the audience to understand what kind of content, I know you've spoken about it, but as a fresher, you know, there's a lot of hesitation to what should I put because it's like a public platform. So a lot of people might, uh, you know, if it's a good thing, it's a bad thing, what should I write? What type of content should it be like a, and I should put out there, should I put my project? Should I put my certificate? Should it be video? Should it be a post? How do you, how can you? You know what do you what is your uh, recommendation for them so again it depends on what you are looking for like if i'm looking for a job i was very much into visualization so i knew that you know i had to make projects on it i have to work on it to be able to sit at in the interview and answer questions right because practical knowledge at the end is matters much more than in any certificates absolutely uh, so i started working on them and i was like okay if, it, if i'm working i'm spending time why not put it out there, ask people for their feedback, what they think about it. So mm-hmm. it starts that way. I'm interested in visualization. I'll go for it. If you are, you know, someone who is doing using Python, using R or something, there's a lot of things which you can do with that. You can do an entire project, put it out on some blog site, maybe medium or anywhere. Uh, you can have a Jupyter notebook link also. You can put out there that uh, give a small summary, like, mm-hmm. okay, I have this, this is my link to the post or link to my lab notebook. So it doesn't matter if you put like, obviously, if you want to uh, explain something which is long, you put out videos. If you want to show some snippet, like I put uh, photos of my dashboards and I also add the link, interactive link to the dashboard, right? Right. So just make it a clutter, give a short snippet of what you have put. And Mm -hmm. if it's you, put a link so that people can go. If it's small, put a snippet. So it again depends what you want to put out there. If you don't have something right now, if you have only thoughts, then please go ahead and post your thoughts also. Just start mm. somewhere. Once you, you start, start you correct. Can... Right. And you don't think, you know, a lot of people are hesitant because thinking that might they might get some negative comments. But have you come across any of the things? Nobody is there, right? In fact, it's very good. Some of the people come with feedbacks. You know, Vani, you should have done that. Maybe you should have gone with that color combination or maybe that axis is wrong. So that's actually a good thing. I did not notice that. Someone else did. Mm -hmm. So positive, constructive feedback is there. Very much. Okay. um, Also wanted to ask you, is there a schedule that you follow? Uh, Yes. So if you see like all the social media sites have their uh, day and time, which is best for the algorithm as per the algorithm for posting. And uh, uh, LinkedIn is Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. It's like the best days to post. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursdays. Okay. And Uh, what time? Yeah. Uh, So it's like lunchtime around the morning to lunchtime. Mm -hmm. Evening for around, I guess, four to six, if I remember correctly. Okay. Uh, for putting it out uh, out there in the morning so that you know that crowd also watches evening crowd also <laughs> sees the post uh, so I think the best time for me is uh, you know 10 to 12 the time span of 10 to 12 uh, that works best for me all right and uh, you know based on the work that you've done your LinkedIn profile and the networking that you did uh, have recruiters uh, you know knocked at your doors offering some jobs or some internship opportunities, some project opportunities as a consultant? Yes, surprisingly, yes. Uh, so I did get a few initial internship uh, interviews, interview calls at least to this when I was uh, in the at the beginning stage. Mm-hmm. I did interviews, but then my skill set was not at all uh, like not good. So that did not go good. But then I did, I'm actually working and interning somewhere and I got uh, that job through LinkedIn. Okay. They saw my book, they wanted to interview me. And the best part was that they asked me to explain one of my projects because mm-hmm. they have seen I've done so many. So I just picked it up and because I was so familiar with it, 
it went it worked you know in my benefit all i can say is that right so typically this is how you know interviews are happening these days that they want to know your work even if you join some kind of institute where you're train taking a training and you've done an amount of projects but that's what everybody has done then what's so unique about vani or what's so unique about me that i have done uh, you know different from others so that is, you are also agreeing to that that you know that is something which is important work on the projects and that's what the interviews is all about very important in fact you know some people who are always running behind certificates so uh, i do know i haven't received the certificate yet i mean in none of the interviews they will ask okay show me the certificate you have answered all the questions now show me the certificate <laughs> i know certificate is just for our i think our satisfaction that we earned it but it's actually the practical knowledge that will get you through the interviews that these guys have going to ask exactly good good so uh, any quick three tips that you can think of your head vani just like your visualization proofs three quick tips that you want the audience that they can you know take away from this talk of ours uh for to, for linkedin or for my visualization linkedin okay so first thing please start please start don't procrastinate do anything maybe it's a text a blog a video nothing uh, sorry anything just do something hmm. right uh secondly i'm sure each one of us in this lockdown must have done something a small project maybe half of it uh so just think uh, just put it out there i'm sure you will get some kind of review or feedback which will definitely motivate you to do much more mm-hmm. right and the third part is if you have not started yet you can seriously there there's a lot of content online a lot of content online uh which you can use utilize so make a project and do it right away don't procrastinate don't, don't waste your time thinking about it anymore don't <laughs> absolutely all right thank you so much vani it's always a pleasure talking to you and i really hope people get inspired by how you have taken your career graphs it's wonderful looking at your uh, you know your work i always you know look forward to your visualizations on linkedin to see what you know interesting things that you have done So it's a wonderful uh, you know having you as a connection all the time thank you so much ma'am all right vani take care and thank you once again you too bye bye